Hello and welcome. You've probably noticed that to interface with a maximum number of people in the work chat, which is inside of Evernote, you will need to have contacts that are already there. If you don't have a lot of contacts, that might be difficult for you to be able to share using these features. However, there is a way for you to be able to get more of your contacts connected into Evernote. In order to do that, we're going to need to go to our account area. Specifically, we're going to need to go to the settings. And one of the first things that you can do is you're going to notice that we have a certain number of connected services. First, our connected service is going to be our Google Drive, and that actually connects our contacts. And we have those contacts, they're going to be part of our Evernote if they have an account. Another way to get more of our contacts would be, to, would be for us to connect inside of LinkedIn. So when we make that connection, we'll be able to multiply some of our connections. And the same is going to be true if you are a user of Salesforce. Those are ways for you to get more of your contacts into Evernote. But now you'll notice that Google is here, but Microsoft is not. And a number of people actually use Microsoft Office. So how would you get your contacts for Microsoft Office into Evernote? Well, one of the ways that you can actually do that would be to import them into your Gmail account. So we're actually going to show you how to do that right now. If you're looking at a Gmail account, and what we would do is go to this drop down arrow and then go to the contacts. Once you get to your contacts area, you're going to look to the more area and you're going to see a command here that says import. You're going to go ahead and click that link. And what you're going to do is you're going to import your contacts from either Yahoo, from Outlook, and from AOL. You can actually import them from other email providers as well as a CSV file. What that will do is that will get all of your contacts into Google, and then you will be able to resync that account into Evernote. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.